Good morning, everyone. And oh my lord, for the first time, I used the D pad straight away. Ah, this is marvelous. Welcome back to Galena Heights. Hello, this is tomorrow's weather. Also, let me move the mouse. Tomorrow will be a sunny spring day, a perfect day to be outdoors. Marvelous. I am extremely pleased. All right, let's see what we've got. Now, for today, I am going to take a wallop of iron. And. No, no. I'm, I'm just going to take a wallop of iron. That is going to be given to the smith as my first gift to him. Aha! My turnips are ready. Perfect. Need to sell them all. There we go. I am going to pop these in here. But again, I am mostly going to just check on the money I have right now. I can calculate that just by watching my episode from start to finish. Uh, if needs be. If I forget to check before nightfall, then I can uh, always uh, do that. I can I can just walk my way through my episode and see, oh, well, I uh, this money there, that money there. I mean, it's certainly not a particularly good system of doing it, but it, it is a system and it will work kind of. There we go. I have noticed that there, there are some um, like fan-made wikis uh, popping up for the game. But none of them actually have this kind of information written down there yet, so maybe I'll end up populating those wikis myself. Uh, I'm always quite happy to do that sort of thing if I have the chance. I just I'm I'm usually not that person. Uh, right, let's pop that in there. Uh, hello, Alfred. Uh, let's get you some noms, shall we? There we go. One noms for you, and a cuddle. <laughs> there we go. Uh, right. Okay. Well. Let's head on out. I may as well drop off my seeds. No point in holding on to them right now. No point at all. It's a shame, though, that I hadn't replanted a bunch of seeds. Uh, uh, tool storage, it'll be. Um, simply because we've had two solid days of rain. That's actually pretty pretty good, uh, all things considered. Um, well, there's no point in me having these out just yet. Ring the bell to make animals go outside or back inside the respective buildings. I was, it was pointed out to me that that wasn't strictly necessary for me to have, simply because I can just lead animals around. And you're right, I, I completely missed that. Uh, thank you very much for pointing it out, because I, I, I was still missing it actively. But yes, you are quite right, I didn't need to uh, wait on getting the chicken, and I might have been able to take part in the chicken festival if I'd realised that I didn't need to save up for the bell. In fact, I might have had two chickens by now. That being said, one thing I would not have done is won the Chicken Festival. I very much doubt that I'd have uh, picked that up because I wouldn't have had enough time to build up the uh, the rapport with my chickens and built up their affection, which is shame. a shame, I know, but it is what it is. Right, I'm going to continue cleaning up the fields a little bit today. Let's get those out of the way. We will probably do a great deal of siding shortly. Let's get you gone. There we go. Now, what I would love to do... Uh, did I drop on the floor? I did. Because I'm a dead. I would like to go and hand in some of this to the carpenter. Uh, sure. Let's go ahead and nom these down because I am running a little bit low on stamina right now. Now, if I take this all the way down here, I can get a full 20 turnips planted in a fairly neat configuration, I think, just around this area. And I'm going to lay the groundwork for that right now. So, ooh, does that not get wet because while it's raining? Mm. Not a big fan of that. Not a big fan of it at all, that it checks only once in the beginning of the morning. It makes sense with sprinklers, that the sprinklers are only set to activate once early in the morning. And you know what? You know That makes a lot of sense. You wouldn't want your sprinklers activating more frequently than that. Oops. Um, for for purely water conservation reasons, if nothing else. I mean, there's plenty of parts of the world where that is a very, very serious issue. And uh, so, yeah, no, that's fine. But I do wish that when it was rain, you, you automatically got everything watered the moment that it was hoed. Because it, it's rain. This doesn't turn off or on at a certain time. Well, I mean, it does it's when it's raining, but it, you know what I mean. 
Uh, hello. I would like to talk to you. Too many springs have passed above my head while I was too busy, bent over the anvil. Not enough time to make up for it, I'm afraid. Well, how about I give you some iron? Can I get that seal? Now, aren't you a good boy? I am. I, I like to be a good boy. Can I give you another one? No, aren't you a good boy? Okay, that, that's, an, that's enough. You can't have any more of my iron. Uh, right, okay. Well, apparently, that, that was good. Maybe more expensive ores, like the copper, which I'm not going to give away because I've only got one of them. But maybe that would help. Or maybe there's a limit on how many I, I can pay out. One of the things that I, I must confess is a little jarring with this game is how um, how little feedback you get. You get very, very little feedback, which is a shame. Uh, I don't even see the affection from Wilfred. Maybe there is no affection yet. Uh, mining's okay. Animal. Husbandry. Where, if, anywhere. Husbandry. There we are. A tiny, tiny little bit. Mm. Uh, fish court. No particular information there. We don't seem to have any kind of affection stuff going on. Hmm. Alright. Well, that's fine. Hello. Well, well, what is it? Uh, actually, I want to give you something. Uh, here you go. Oh, thanks. Eh, uh, I don't think you're too impressed. Ah, yeah, thanks. Uh, I mean, I'm a carpenter, I, I guess. It, it's good. I mean, my father would, would love it if you just randomly showed up and gave him a nice piece of wood. But, oh, my lord, this is amazing. Now I don't have to spend loads of money on, on getting wood so that I can carve it into uh, breadboards and then do pyrography on it. Oh, it's going to be great. Uh, he does quite a lot of pyrography, actually. He does a lot of things. My father is... Uh, my father is very creative. I think that's where I get much of my creativity from. Not just in an artistic sense, though he's a fantastic artist. Uh, some of the, the paintings he did when he was in the Navy, just of, of people and places he saw, it, honestly breathtaking. Um, but uh, he's also quite creative just with his hands uh he can do quite a lot of work like carving and things like that and my headset is complaining that i have not charged it i will be right back i return but i forgot to go into a room because when my headset starts to beep i panic uh oh well some of the days pass but that's fine i i almost always end up with more day than i know what to do with right now i don't have the stamina to make use of the day fully yet and I certainly don't have the source of crops which uh, give me something to do with all of that time. So, uh, it's fine. It's fine for now. So many herbs. Do these always spawn here in this configuration? Because if so, oh my goodness, that's useful. If that is the case, then yeah, I'm never going to actually run out of stamina. That being said, oh my lord, look at all of that. Let's go these down. Om nom nom. Om nom nom. Uh, okay. Well, I'm starting to get to the point where wood is actually becoming something of an issue for me. So let's, let's, let's see. Come on. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not getting any feedback that I'm actually chopping this correctly. And again, that is one thing that uh, I do wish the game was a little bit better with. And that is providing feedback on my actions. Now, it doesn't specifically need to be, though it would be appreciated if the game were giving me feedback on um, the outcome of what I did. For example, how much money I made on something, or like a, a little bit of feedback at the end of the, of the day that just says, you made this much money today. Um, just so that I don't have to go through the rigmarole of checking my, my uh, bank account in the, in the night and then checking it in the morning if I forget, so on and so forth. It would actually be quite, quite useful. Uh, that being said, having the means to uh, get specific information on the crops, like how long they're going to grow for, I mean, that would be nice, but it certainly isn't required. But uh, getting feedback on, like, when I'm chopping a tree, as opposed to just swinging my axe at the background and it's never going to do anything, that would be really useful. Oh, yeah, like, how's work going? It's actually not going too badly. You know what? I'm going to pop into the, uh, into the hotel. I don't actually come in here too often. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, lady. My younger brother comes to see me every now and then. Last time, he brought with him some venison burgers. Mm, tastiest thing ever. Um, yeah, venison d certainly does have a very distinct taste. I want to work here. Mr. Thorne says he'll consider it. He says that a lot. 
Oh, I'm sorry, mate. Hey, are you in a hurry? Don't rush it. Things will stay pretty much the same, even if you arrive ten minutes later. Uh, do I have... Ah, oh, I don't have my, my flowers. Damn it. Oh, well. Uh, you know what? Before I go anywhere else, let me just check in here. Anyone? Ooh. Hello. People are more relaxed when having a drink. I know I need one sometimes. Mr. Thorne sure has a great establishment here. As a character, I feel that he is a bit more layered than the average person should be. But then again, he is not an average person. Hmm. Interesting. But yes, that's a good point. I should really pop into the uh, the diner more often, I think, of an evening, just to catch people in different locations where I can uh, interact with them a little bit differently. Uh, I wonder what Tobias is up to. Oh, spring is the best season for watering, dowsing, and landmine laying. Oh, of course, yes. Uh, I was hoping that he'd be doing something a little less weird, given it was raining. Maybe go and check out his house and uh, have a chat with him or something like that, but no. No, not today. Apparently, that is that is a, a wishful dream. I would like all of those herbs up on my hot bar for now. Womp, 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 that'll do. And we are going to continue with the choppery. Uh, let's get a lot of this area clean today, if we can. I would like to lay down a lot of my fence posts as well. And if nothing else, I'm going to get closer to getting those levels. I mean, it's only, what, episode... I think this one's episode 6. And I'm fairly happy with already being level 3. I feel pretty pretty uh, good about that, actually. Go to here. There we go. And, oh, is that a small rock? Yeah, that's, a, that's not a, a large rock, so I should be able to mallet that one down. I'm having to try and plan my areas quite specifically right now based on what I can get rid of and what I can't get rid of. Uh, I could make a little fenced area much closer to my chicken coop. But it's not actually that much further just to carry Wilfred down to that larger fenced area. There we are. Skill gain for sickles. Skill increases for next level. Only two remain. Fantastic. Let's get rid of all these. There we go. Let's sort those out. Uh, there we are. And yomp, yomp, yomp. And yomp again. There we go. I actually do quite uh, like this system. I think we are doing well. I think it was very, very wise to get that gathering perk. I would recommend it for anyone playing this game once it comes out. Grab the gathering perk. Those herbs are so good. Especially if you're not dumb like me and keep forgetting to keep... To uh, keep track of how exhausted you're becoming. I almost did it in this episode so far. Uh, but oh, damn it. it's always more awkward to get these coming from the side. But um, as I was saying, it's uh, it's very very uh, good to get be able to gather those herbs in large quantities. And as we've seen, that skill is definitely serving that purpose right now. Now, imagine I'm going to get another scything skill fairly soon. Doing quite a lot of scythe work today. Uh, what is this the perk that I get from scything? Uh, let's actually have a look. Where are my skills? So sickle. Each level increases charge speed by five percent. Improve the skill by cutting down plants and grass, or by attacking enemies with a sickle. So it doesn't really do too much, honestly. Uh, that's fine. Mining is really close to the next level, as is farming, which is particularly nice. Do I get skill in that for just hoeing? Digging? Oh, I do. Ooh. Now then, you have my attention. I might go ahead and just uh, do a bit of hoeing in the area that I'm preparing for the grass seed that I need to lay down. Once I've finished this a little bit. Because I'm finicky. And since I've started, I want to finish. There we are. Perfect. Now... I am a little bit concerned about where I'm going to get wood from, though. That one... Uh, is it going to be something that I'm not going to be able to get enough of for now? Until I've got an upgraded hoe? Uh, mm, if that is the case, and since getting better... Uh, you know what? Dropping this grass down like this may not be the, the best way of doing this. 
Will it spread properly if I do it in rows like that? Or would it have been better to have just dropped it kind of randomly around? I fancy it might have been better to have done that, actually. Oh, well. Uh, it's fine for now. I mean, I'm getting skillets from it anyway, so I might as well, I suppose. Uh, I can fit in one more area of hold earth over here. So, sure. Let's grab all of these and then sickle this down. Just so that I can have an extra area for crops. Because clearly, that's where the lion's share of my money is going to be coming from for now. I don't make enough um, progress with anything else right now for it to be a reliable income. Oh, oh, damn it. Every single time. There we go. And... Ah, really? Once again. Such wasted, wasted uh, stamina. One, two, three... Four, five. Yeah, we'll use some cash. Go get some extra crops. I'm thinking maybe some more carrots. Honestly, they're taking a while to grow, but that shouldn't be too bad. All things considered. There we are. See, no good feedback that what I'm digging will actually pay off. We we will work out what we can do and what we can't, but uh, it would be much nicer if we got feedback from this. Let me actually check. Does that give a flash? Yeah, it does give a flash the, uh, underneath the hammer when you hit something that isn't hammerable. We'll work it out. I'm sure there are ways. Uh, showing all known recipes. Can I toggle that? Toggle. Showing possible recipes. Oh, no, no. We'll just go for all known. So, another seven. That'll do. Let's go and plant these down. Bit of a productive day, I feel. Quite happy with it, actually. Right, let's get these down. We've almost got this little area finished. Now, the thing is, I can just pick Wilfred up. So, I imagine I can just carry Wilfred over here. But I'm going to need a little bit more wood before I finish all of that work. Um, let's go and drop off the iron. Uh, access item storage. Drop that off for now. Drop off the stones that we're collecting that we haven't got anything to do with yet. And salt, Peter. You know what? I bet Tobias would love this. <laughs> hmm. Give the crazy person who keeps talking about landmines the means to make uh, crude explosives. Uh, I think I choose life, honestly. Uh, but I'm not going to go to bed just this second. We're going to stay out just a little bit longer. And eat down a few more of these because I wouldn't mind getting some more um, wood where it's possible. That's the way. There we go. And then we'll go and gather plants too. Yeah. At least each one of these gives two, which is enough for just a single fence post. I do need a decent number of them though, unfortunately. You know what, though? Since I'm not using my other tools right now, why don't I just move them down off there? That'll make uh, swapping between my tools so much easier. Go through here. And I'll leave here as well. And here. There we go. And as soon as it's night, uh, 9, I'm going to go and grab some flowers. There we go. Just to make a little bit of extra money. There we go. Perfect. Right, uh, with that then, let's go and have a look around. You know what, I'll, I'll do a quick sweep of the town as well, just to see if there's anyone I can talk to. Anyone just kind of lingering outside, maybe in a place that they probably shouldn't be, that kind of thing. But it does seem that I'm going to need to get the second level axe to have a reliable source of wood. I fancy those tree stumps will probably regenerate. Is there a flower up over here? Or is it elsewhere? Uh, I was sure there was a flower over here. I must have been mistaken. I was, was rather certain of it though, but uh, okay. Maybe it was down here actually. Maybe it was by the mine. Maybe that one just doesn't recover it in the same way. Hmm. Alright. It's not there. Not a while. Let's head up to the 
hotel. We're going to pop our head in, say hello if anyone's around. And then head down to the diner, say hello if anyone's around, you know, in my, in my Viking helm. Hello? No. Might be a little bit late now to catch anyone, which is a bit of a shame. I should have come up here a little bit earlier. Around 8 p.m., I guess, might, might have been a good time. I know at least the uh, mayor doesn't poke his head out of his house uh, after, well, even before 7, because he's there with the doctor, it seems. Though, I can't say that that's every day, but so far, it seems to happen frequently. There we go. Uh, is Karen here yet? No. And I can't go in there now because it's a little bit too late. That's fine. Alright, let's head over to the diner and see who's around. The light just went out in the grocery store. Ah. The light is still on. Oh. Ah. Drat. Mm, let's go and see the church. Uh, has the church locked its doors yet? I think it's worth checking. It's the last place that I can imagine I'll find people. There we go. Anyone around? Anyone at all? Mm, no. I wonder what kind of gift I would give the priest. I can only assume that after I've gained enough um, relationship points with people... Ooh! Aha! I'll take you. Once I've gained enough relationship points with people, that I will be able to check out more of their, their homes. Ooh, another... Uh, what? What's going on? I'll go wherever the hell I want. Next time you buy shoes, remember with whose money you're doing that. Oh, no. Hey, please, I'm looking for a job. Please don't talk to me like that. You don't get to criticize what I'm doing when I walk out of this damn door. Lee, are you selling drugs? I know. Please stop it. You're ruining us. Oh, my lord. Wow, okay, this is heating up. Um, maybe I should stop, like, just peeking through the window and maybe knock, distract them or something. Uh, what should I be doing to provide, eh? Sleep with Thorn? Maybe you should be doing that. Oh my lord, that escalated from, like, well, it wasn't at zero before, but it was probably at a solid 30, but it's gone up to 100 now. Wow. Okay, you pig, I don't recognize you anymore. Oh my lord. Uh, well, that turned sinister. Can I get it? No, what? Really? I can't get in? I uh, can't even knock on the door. Maybe I can knock something over. Oh, my Lord. Well, I wasn't expecting that at all. How are we going to approach that tomorrow? We need to come down here straight away and find out if Matilda's okay. My goodness. I am actually genuinely shocked that it seemed to escalate to that so quickly. Again, this sort of thing... I, I, I mentioned before that Stardew Valley had strong themes. They were more, more personal loss. Though, I, I found it, it was more um, personal tragedy rather than criminality. Uh, but even then, it tended to walk around the themes. It observed the effects of the themes rather than the, the, the thing itself. For example, someone was extremely depressed and might have been contemplating whether their life was worth anything. You never actually saw them make any you know serious attempts to find out the answer to that question, I guess. Um, but you did see the, the after effects of it, the, the alcohol abuse, just depression. Um, and you could help with that, but you didn't have a lot of agency in that. I guess we didn't have much agency there. We simply saw it happen. I'm I'm actually really, really quite shocked. We're going to have to go and check that out in the morrow. Uh, rest? Yeah, okay, I guess. It's not going to be a very restful sleep, I'll be honest. Oh, I've still got the flowers on me. I didn't collect the flower down there either. Uh, my mind was preoccupied. Hmm. That was not a good night. I was out bloody collecting flowers, and then I am witness to 
what it, I think is fairly cut, black and white domestic abuse. Hello, this is tomorrow's weather. Tomorrow will be a sp sunny spring day. A perfect day to be outdoors. Yeah. I, I, everything has lost, lost a nice taste on the road, actually. Absolutely everything feels weird. Uh, okay, well, let's go and check on Wilfred. Hello, Wilfred. <laughs> Make me feel better, Wilfred. All right, we're going out. Uh, actually, first I'm going to put you down. There we go. Now we're going out. Can I take you with me? Uh, actually, no, we're not, because I haven't finished the fence. Sorry, Wilfred, you're staying indoors. Um, I know it, it's harsh, but I, I will try and get that fence finished for you as soon as I can. <laughs> oh, my mind's all over the place. Uh, oh, I need to pick up my flowers. It's only six. I'm not going to be able to, to go down and check on Matilda yet. Uh, right, oh, not for that matter, Lee. Uh, access tool storage. I would like my seeds. Oh, I've only got five. Oh, that's a bit silly of me. There we are. And bring all of those down. I don't need chicken feed on my hotbar right now. Uh, sure, that'll do. Uh, okay. I will sell an egg today. Right. Let's go across and drop these off. Now, I... This is a... It's an odd question. It's an awkward question to ask at this point, but I, I feel that it's kind of a, an important one. I, I know how many people are saying, oh, this looks like a really lovely game. This is this is great. This is exactly what I'd, I'd like to play. Has seeing that... I mean, obviously, it, you know, it did mention, you know, there, there were dark themes here and the whole sin counter and stuff like that, but seeing what kind of dark themes there, how has that affected what you're thinking about the game right now? Certainly, I imagine some of you might not uh, be too keen on your children playing it at this point, but uh, are you still interested in seeing where the stories go and also what you can do with the stories? Because, yeah, an unfortunate uh, the fact of life is that there are bad things that happen. Now, whether you want to be exposed to that in a game, that's, that's uh, you know, its own discussion. Um, but... If in that game you have the mechanics to affect those bad things uh, and, and, and try and, uh, well, not redeem them, that's the wrong word, but uh, trying to uh, make them better in some way, to fix the problems that you see. That, is that the sort of game that you, you're okay with if, if there are darker themes, but you, you have agency to try and overcome them? Does that improve the experience for you? It, honestly, it is It is a really important question, I think. It's, a, it's an important uh, thing to consider because games these days, even cute games like this, there's more and more uh, facility for them to shine light on problems. Not just in a shocking, sensational way. I mean, uh, as with Stardew, I, I certainly felt that Stardew was bringing light to some topics that while uncomfortable kind of needed to be to be addressed well not needed I, I guess it doesn't need to be addressed but it shouldn't be shied away from knowing that yeah there are sad and, and and tragic things that happen in the world but look on the bright side you can fix them you know talk about your problems that sort of thing you know um whether this game is going to go in that direction i could not say but uh, hopefully uh let me go and talk to the doctor it's, well actually no I, I need to go and talk to matilda um, before I start talking to other people and getting them involved, I need to, to speak with her. Let's go down and see if she's in the house. Hello? Ah, Lee is here too. Mm. Hello, Spring. Everything seems so vibrant and happy. But then I have allergies and suddenly I want Spring to just go away. Yeah. Hello? Hey, Avak. Where are you heading to? Oh here actually but this is hmm i don't think i would be able to confront this situation with both parties present i don't think that would be any way helpful this is definitely something that needs to be addressed more tactfully i'm gonna go and talk with the sheriff uh i think that's possibly one of the better options let's go and chat with the sheriff if he's in hey there mate be careful, Ivac. Some places out of town aren't all that safe. Well, it seems like some places in town aren't that all that safe, Gabriel. Can I talk to you at all? Oh, my lord, I can't do anything. 
I feel helpless. Which is, I imagine, actually not that uncommon in this particular situation. Uh, hey, Abak, how are you doing? Not so good today, mate, to be perfectly honest with you. Hello, doctor. Go around the town, eh? Good. Walking is good for the heart. Uh, it's not so good for the soul at the moment, I'll be honest. I don't seem to be able to... Oh, who would I tell? Who would be the best person to tell in this situation? It's awkward. Uh, oh, obviously... In, in where I should do it. I, I probably shouldn't do it with the mayor right now, but... Hi, Avak. Mr. Ling brings new things each season. Make sure to check with him often. I'll try to. Regina, hello there. So many things to do. So little time. Let's have a chat. I like what I do. It's a lot of walking, delivering goods to others, but I've gotten used to it. Do I have... No, I don't have the flowers anymore. Mm. Uh, hello, what would you like to buy? Well, let's see. I'd like... Another five grass seeds. Thank you. And I would like... Um, another ten carrot seeds, please. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Let's head out. There was a fishing rod in it. Ah, drag down blast. I would like to buy a fishing rod if it's not too horribly expensive. 4,000. Damn it. That is horribly expensive. It's as much as a wedding ring. I can't tell if the fishing rod is expensive or the wedding ring is cheap. Ah, my back hurts from all the chopping. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, King. Uh, but I would actually like to buy some lumber off you if I may. Hmm. Well, I've got a lot of things to do today. I'm going to go up and uh, chat with... Um, yeah, we'll actually just check on the, the woodworking shop. Let's have a look. Move of business, Monday to Wednesday, Friday and... Uh, sorry, and Friday, so not open today. That would explain why Kane wasn't there. Oh, hello. Hey, are you in hurry? Don't rush it. Things will pretty much be the same, even if you're up late. Where are you off to? You know what? I need to follow the villagers around a little bit, learn their, their preferred places, because they may have different things they'll say. Uh, I'll have to admit, for all the board and living in a small mountain town entails, it also has its perks, like a walk in the forest. Yeah, see, exactly. Just follow them around, have a chat with them in different situations. There is a big social element to this game, and I'm only really starting to grasp just how big that social element is. Um, but it's definitely something that I want to follow these stories through. There we go. There we are. Now, I do know from what the developer said that there are, you know, tough scenes in this game. But there is agency uh, in that you can solve them. Uh, sometimes the, 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 the method through which you solve it, uh, you have, again, options. But some of those methods can be rather extreme. And uh, I am, can only imagine that that means you can come to full-on altercations with, with other people. And, and uh, things aren't always going to be solvable in, through talking, I imagine. It's going to be an interesting game to see where this goes. I am actually genuinely quite in intrigued from a games as art perspective, but also, I hope, understandably cautious at the same time. So we'll, we'll be keeping an eye on how things develop here. There we go. Thank you. Now I do need to eat some food. There we go. Oh, also, I definitely need to go and check for more herbs up on the mountain. That is absolutely something I need to do every day, really, and just build up a supply. There we are. Take this one. There we go. Hooray! We've got a new level, my lord. We're actually doing really well. We're doing really well for the levels. Or at least I feel we are. Making solid progress, getting new perks frequently. I'll make my way through here and chop this. There we go. Need to make Wilf a little house. Has to be done. There we go. Now, do I have any more herbs on me? I don't. So I might need to actually head out and get some more herbs now. Rather than later. Because I still need to water some crops as well. Mm, I should have done that first, really. Uh, we'll plant the carrot seeds. And then I'll go and get more herbs. So that I have enough energy to water them as well. But we won't do any more watering for now. Uh, 
everything else is more or less done. Let's, let's top that up. Let's go and get myself some more fences made. My hands are full. No, they're not that full. But I think I'll go grab the herbs and then I'm going to head back into town and just see where people are at, what people are up to. There's one. Okay, we are working on the final wall now. Shouldn't be too much longer before I can let Wilfred out of the chicken coop and they can uh, happily enjoy that little field there. Now, have you got feed? You have got feed. Good. There they are, just to make sure that you're happy. By throwing you around, my lord. Uh, right, I'm going to grab a flower, actually. Oh, a couple of flowers. Yes, item storage. I would like to bring these out for now. Uh, I wonder about the shadow plums. Dark root of unknown origin. There shouldn't be any on Gleaner Heights. Yep, here it is. I... You know what? I feel like eating it. I feel like eating the shadow plum. Let's have a look. Didn't do anything. Didn't do a single thing. That was probably stupendously valuable. But it didn't do a single thing. I just gobbled it down. Well. Great. No, I'm not going to give you salt, Peter. What? I, I don't even have salt. I don't know what you're talking about. Hello, Lee. Hey, I'm just heading out of town for some business. Man has to make some money, right? Man also has to not beat up his wife. Uh, it's very easy to cast judgment, though. And I'm always aware of how easy it is to cast judgment, especially on something like this. There's no excuse. There's never an excuse for, for being violent with, with especially someone who... Uh, who there's a reasonable expectation would look to you for as their protector, not their attacker. I mean, there's never a particular reason why you should be violent with anyone, but especially in, in it's especially egregious in that scenario. But I'm not going to cast judgment on the whole selling drugs. I mean, honestly, if he was more of a tragic character, I might even sympathize. You know, it's like fallen on terrible times and you and I'm not going to say that people won't do terrible things in order to try and provide for their family but uh, that is a complicated situation uh, the the act of selling drugs by far the least terrible of the crimes that he's committed that we, we are aware of uh, let's have a gobble of these down but that does mean that Matilda might be on her own uh, let's go and have a talk or at least see if she's okay she might not want to talk in fact, that might be the worst time to just randomly show up. It's like, yeah, yeah, by the way, I saw your husband laying hands on you. Really. Spring is the best season for water dowsing and landmine lay. Will you please stop laying landmines, my lord? This town. Oh. And before Tobias has actually witnessed all of the crazy things going on in the town and laying landmines is just his solution to the problem. Which, uh, all of a sudden, it's like, uh still can't entirely agree with it, but at the same time, maybe your heart isn't entirely the wrong place. Hello, Avak. I trust things are going smoothly with your farm. Uh, my farm? Yeah. The town? No. I think a hobby is important. Once in a while, you must be able to take your mind off it. Uh, people react to what you give them. Most presents are okay. Oh, everyone is showing up here right now. It's Thursday. Is everyone heading to the bar? Or maybe this is where a lot of them live. Uh, that could be true, actually. Let's pop in and see where they're going. Um, my younger brother comes to see me every now and then. Last time he brought with him the, some venison burgers. Hmm. Hello? I think a hobby is important. Okay, well, that's fine. Can I actually talk to you on here? No, I can't. Are there going to be people around here? Yes, there are. Hello? People react to what? Oh, damn it. I need you to say other things at least some of the time. Otherwise, I'll just end up not talking to you. And then the one time I don't talk to you is the one time when you would have actually said something important. Just my luck. And of course, no one... Ah, uh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> because I went inside, time stopped on the outside. In fact, time stopped on the inside, but I can still move around somehow. A weird kind of time dilation. But everyone who's heading there stopped heading there. And just froze in their tracks. Uh, hello. Oh, my back hurts from all the chopping. I'm sorry, mate. I really am, actually. Right, well, 
I like what I do for a living. It's just that I wish it wasn't so tired for my kids when we get back home. Let's go and have a chat down here. No, I'm in the wrong place. I need to go further down. Right. Ah, down. It's locked. Uh, where does Matilda work? Maybe Matilda just locks the, the house when Lee isn't around. Oh, no, no. Here's Matilda. Ah. So cheery. Suddenly I want spring to just go away. Hello. I hope you manage with the farm. It had been abandoned for quite a long time. I'll do my best. Hello, Alec. Have you been tending to your farm before run running around? Yes, I have. I've now got enough energy to actually properly uh, take care of it. Be careful, Alec. Some places out of town aren't all that safe. Hello, Mr. Alec. How are you today? I'm quite well, thank you. Ah... Uh, you need to talk with everyone. Hello, how are you today? I'm oh, not doing too badly. Ooh. Oh, everyone's going home, I guess. Yeah, yeah, everyone's going home. I was wondering if they might... I wonder if on Sundays they all head to the church. I might have to check that out. Aha! Uh -huh. I enjoy penny stitches as much as the next person, but I'm also taking notes on the ingredients because I like cooking. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. It's good to have a hobby. I'm going to go and chat with you. There we go. Oh, it's beautiful outside, isn't it? It is, Fiona. Uh, you know what? Here we go. I don't know what to say. I love this. <gasps> Have I found the thing that Fiona loves with such ease? Fantastico. That is good. Hmm. All right. Well, I know that I'm going to have to keep them aside then. Right. Time to cut down more things. Uh, first, gobble down some grub. Actually, second, I need to go and water my crops. There. Now then, how are you all going to do? Hopefully, quite well. I believe this is the first day for all of these crops. Yeah, I'm fairly certain it is. So they should all be ready roughly at the same time. So that's going to be a bump of harvest when it comes around. Uh, I'll fill up my watering can while I'm here. Yeah. Now, let's head on down and actually start work on getting some more wood ready for the fences. Because we are very nearly at a point where Wilfred can happily head outside. There you go. Now, I've got a couple of uh, logs just a little ways uh, down to the southwest. Now, again, each one of these is basically one fence. So, we've not actually gotten that many new fences, but we, again, don't need that many anymore. Also, don't want that on my hotbar. It's just taking up room. There you go. Now, I'm fairly certain that we don't just need six fences. We need one for the... One for the... Uh, gate. Haha, -ha, you thought I missed it, didn't you? No! I almost did, though. I'll give you partial credit. But I didn't totally miss it. And that's what totally counts. Ah, I'm proud of myself for not making a fool of myself. For the umpteenth time. Right, so how many do we need? One, two, three, four. Oh, actually, no, we might have enough. Oh, that'll be fantastic. That'll be truly wonderful. Wonder lovely, in fact. Uh, let's bring all of these in. I'll, I'll make it all into fences, but that is absolutely wonderful. Really, really happy if we've now got a little area for my chicken. Or oh, chickens in time. The important thing is, can I actually put my chicken in here? Uh, hopefully, it'll it'll eventually just fill up with uh, fill up with grass seed. And with that, I'm gonna go and pop this in here. Item storage. Let's drop that off over here. We'll do. All right. Uh, we haven't got any crops, so I'm not gonna be making any more cash right now. But I have got enough to buy a new chicken if I want to. And now that I can feed them outdoors, 
at that point it becomes worthwhile. Assuming they can eat outdoors. Assuming that, that that's okay for them, like, if there's no grass on the, on the ground yet. If that does work, then that's perfect for us. Actually, which of my tools is closest to leveling up right now? Uh, we've got the axe, the hammer, the hoe. The hoe is the closest. Very well. I would like my hoe to level up. There we go. Now, if we can actually get my hoe to completely level up, we'll also find out if it preserves any level ups, even though you haven't taken the perk from the last one you got. If not, then that is uh, scallywaggery, really. But uh, if so, then hooray! Let's make our way down here. I believe there are a couple of worms around this area. Uh, there may even be an evil plant or two, but I think they were definitely worms. Also, hedgehogs. Hello, goodbye. Let's go and see what we've got. There we are. Womp. Can I open this yet? Nope. Can I hoe you to death? Uh, yeah, it seems to remember it. Fantastic for science. Complete. Uh, no, we're going to grab... Oh, ouch. Grab a few more. There we are. I may as well use up all my stamina every day. There's not a reason to not use it up, basically. Uh, now I'm going to switch to my hammer as my weapon, though. Because so that's the next one to level up. I, I think doing it this way is, is going to be the best way to get as many perks as you can. By switching out to whatever item you, ha you currently have available. Ooh, let me just store those and stack them. That's actually nice and easy. Uh, whichever one is closest so that you get the most levels fast as fast as you can. My lord, that seriously though, gathering. Gathering, best thing. We are making so much with that. Also, I'm gonna go and grab some more uh, night flowers, if I can. Since it's so clear, that this is gonna be an amazing thing to uh, offer. Um, you know what, sure. I'm gonna gobble these down. And I'm going to swap to a, uh, an axe. Because this one is actually physically here. The others I can more or less walk through. I might need to... I'm willing to just waste all of my energy bar on this. I'll go the whole way down. And we'll answer once and for all. Or at least mostly. Because it is still possible. My axe is just not strong enough. But we'll go all the way down. Really? Come on, tree. Come on, tree. Prove to me you're not just not just a part of the scenery. Tell me your secrets. Come on. You know you want to do ah, my lord, really? Oh well. Uh it was worth the for sciencing, I think. Worth the for sciencing. But it does seem that some things are just more part of the foreground than others or they certainly look a bit more vibrant which is why i thought maybe that tree of all the trees was the tree for me but alas no it was not the tree for me after all now then let's go and grab the flowers uh grab you pop you in my backpack i think there was one further south actually there was one by matilda's place thinking about it uh, we'll go and see what we can see down there. There we are. Hopefully everything is okay. Can I go in? No. Uh, it's going to weigh heavily on my mind. As it should, no doubt. But uh, it'll weigh especially heavily until I work out how to address that situation. Again, this game, uh, one of the, the things that the, the developer said that stuck with me for the longest was that whilst there, there are um, darker and heavier themes in the game and that uh, it, it doesn't shy away from that, it doesn't revel in it either. Specifically, that it doesn't revel in, in the idea of, of um, presenting these dark, dark themes to create... Um, well, again, for, for shock and sensationalization. We can't we can't discount that. that might still happen a little bit. You know, people can say things and, and, and doing things are very different. But uh, 
I, I, I was quite comfort, comforted by the idea that nothing is shown for just a frivolous reason. Everything has some sort of, it has somewhere where it's going in the story and that you have something you can do to interact with it in the story. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to find out sooner rather than later how we can get involved in that one and sort it out. But that's going to be the end of this episode. Bit of a grim one, honestly. Bit of a, bit of a, an emotionally tiring one. Uh, but that is it. Let's let's go ahead and rest for the remainder of the day. We've got a couple of flowers that I'm going to hold on to now as presents, since they seem to be reasonably important. And we'll get something to look at here. Let's have a look. Trojan horse, you know how to gift them. You know how to please them. The second gift given on to the same villager within a day has its effectiveness reduced by 20% instead of the normal 50. Ah, yes, that's, of course, the uh, the thing there. I mean, I could do that, I suppose. Uh, Horder, Night Division, mm, no. I don't know, actually, maybe. Nothing can slow you down, not Spiderweb, not even the heaviest of armors. Night Visitor, I could visit people a little bit more. You know what, maybe that would be an interesting one. Time most houses closed for the night is pushed further by two hours. Now, would that just give me an extra bit of time to talk to people in a day? Or would it allow me to see and interact with scenes that normally you wouldn't get if you couldn't go in there? That is actually really, really interesting. Um, hmm... I might grab Animal Buddy, but uh, for the time being, I, I'm really tempted by a Night Visitor. Yeah, we're going to go for that one. <gasps> We've got a chick! Oh, fantastic! Oh, my lord. Okay, now that's, that's a small comfort. And once again, still running, because I recorded this episode straight after the last one. Uh, we're going to go with the, the patron name list. Thanks to Siri, who's secretly scribbling names all over the place. Zangiri. Where is R and where is Y? There we are. Hope I've spelled that correctly. There you go. Welcome, Zangiri. So yeah, you only really need one one chicken. That's fantastic. But that's going to be it from me. I really do hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, you know, as much as you can enjoy an episode like this. And I would be very, very interested in hearing your thoughts down in the comments below on everything that I've discussed in this one, and obviously what happened and whether that has affected your view of the game whether you're more inclined or less inclined to play the game now um and that will be it for now i do hope to see you in the next but until then and as always do take care of yourselves and each other <laughs>